When building your website, you'll spend a ton of time creating and organizing your content. And your website's navigation menus are a crucial part of getting the right content in front of the right people at the right time. And the right time is usually immediately. So these menus will or should include the most important pages that your website visitors will want to access quickly or frequently while browsing your website. Now, if you need strategy around your menus or your information architecture, we should chat. But if you're just looking to know how to build a HubSpot menu in your HubSpot CMS, what global content has to do with the conversation and how themes have changed the game, well, guess what? You're in the right spot. Hey, it's your boy George B. Thomas from Impulse Creative bringing you yet another educational HubSpot tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to create your website menus as well as a few other tricks of the trade along the way. If you're digging the content, make sure you give it a like, share, or even subscribe. And if you need help with your HubSpot CMS based website, then hit us up. People say we're pretty stinking good at this HubSpot thing. And speaking of HubSpot CMS, let's dive in and start showing you how to get that very important navigation in place for your website. So we're in HubSpot and we wanna head to the place where we can actually edit the menu navigation. So we're gonna go ahead and hit settings here. And then on the left-hand side of your settings page, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to website. And then under website, you're gonna see that there is navigation. You're gonna see that we can go under default here and we can say add menu. So in this case, we'll just add a menu name and we'll hit create menu. Now that we have our menu here, we're gonna go ahead and add a menu item. So we'll click this button and you're gonna see that we get a menu item where we can actually give it a label. So we'll just call this about. And then here we can select a page. Now selecting a page means that you use the HubSpot CMS or you're going to connect to a HubSpot landing page or HubSpot blog, but you'll do that drop down and you'll be able to search for the page that you actually want to use. Under this actions link here, you're going to see that we can actually do item without a link. We can do a page link with URL parameter and we can do a URL link. Many times you're just going to do a URL URL link here if you're going to an external place. So for instance, if we were going to send this to a page at Impulse Creative, we could just put the actual URL here and we'll paste it in just like that. So we have that URL. Pro tip, when adding a URL link, you must enter the full URL, including the HTTP or HTTPS protocol. And Hopefully at this point for you, it's HTTPS. That's very important. However, remember under here, there was also page link with URL parameter. So if you wanted to add a question mark and some type of parameter to this URL, you could. Now there's a couple different reasons why you might do that, but that's beyond the length of this tutorial. Also, you might have an item without link and we're gonna kind of explain how that works when we talk about creating a sub menu inside of your menu. Now, once we have this initial menu item, we can simply add a menu item. And so add a menu without a link or add a page link or add a URL link. So we'll add another URL link and we'll call this new menu item. We'll paste the same URL because you get the point. It's about labeling it and it's about giving the URL that you want. And of course that URL can be a regular URL or a link to a HubSpot page or the parameters. So once we have a couple of these built out and by the magic of editing, we have a couple more built out, we may start to build what is a sub menu. Cause right here you've created your first menu but we need a sub menu to this. So for instance, under this new menu item, we might want to add sub items. So in this actions link, you're going to see that there is actually add child item below. If we add a child item below, that actually creates a sub menu. However, if we were to create an item below right here add item below, it just simply adds another navigational menu item here. Now we're going to go ahead and delete this by hitting the trash can. And so if we wanted to continue to add sub items, we could say add child item. So now what we have is that menu item and we have sub items here. And as you can see, sub one, sub two, sub three. Now, another feature that is also here that you can leverage when building HubSpot menus is notice if we hover in between these items, we actually get a plus sign here. We can hit that plus sign at any point. We can add an item without link 
add page link, add page URL, or add link URL. And this goes under the sub items as well. You can see that teal bar kind of follows us along for the ride. Again, what if we don't want this link to go anywhere in this menu item? We could hit this actions button here and notice we have this item without link. And so we'll go ahead and click that and notice it's the item without any link, but when you hover over it, you would then get your sub menu. So you can see there's a lot of flexibility and it's very easy with this actions item to create the menu items that you need as well as being able to have those have special abilities, if you will, for those menu items. One last piece here is that also with each one of these, you can choose to not open it in a new window or to choose to open it in a new window. If it is taking them to a place out of the website or to a user dashboard or to a login area, maybe it's in a new window so the website lives there. Maybe it's not, but again, you have some strategy that you can focus on here as well. One last thing before we go, if you are like most, you have multiple people in your HubSpot portal, so sometimes your menus might magically change based on a rash decision. No worries, you can view revisions to your menu with ease. That's right, you can view and restore previously published versions of your menu in the revisions history. Each version includes a date and timestamp, and a bit of a bonus awesomeness brought to you by HubSpot is for any version of the menu published after October 3rd, 2018, you'll also see which user created the revision as well. Hey Billy, why the heck do you change our menu? Mm-hmm, sure can. And let me just say congratulations on building your menu structure in your navigational settings, but the question you might be asking yourself is what about global content and what about theme settings? How does that all work with the navigational menu that we're trying to create? Great question, and that's exactly what we're gonna get into in the next part of this tutorial. Let's dive in. All right, so for this part of the tutorial, you're gonna see that I have jumped over to Hub LMS, which is our learning management system that we've created at Impulse Creative. And I want to look at this menu feature that is in some global content. Notice we've got page header that is global content. And if I click on this up here, it's gonna say edit global content, and we can open in global content editor. Now, once we open it in the editor, what you're gonna see is we have a primary navigation section. I can go ahead and click on that, and this is where I can actually select the menu that I have created. Now, in this tutorial, I'm not gonna actually change the menu, but you would select the menu that you had just created that we created together in the actual navigational settings area. Or if you're just starting out with your global content or theme, you could even create a new menu right from this area, do what we just did in the tutorial and be able to hop right back into this global content. If you wanna edit this menu that is in place, notice we do have the edit button that's gonna go ahead and take us right to that menu navigation. And what's nice is once we publish it or save the changes, we'll be able to go right back into that section that we are working on. Once we're done, we can publish any updates to it, but in this case, we'll just go back to the page editor. So it's that easy to work with global content and your menu item, but what if you wanna make that menu item look differently? Well, that's where themes has changed the game. And we can go into this design tab right here, and that's going to get us into the theme settings. Now, before I click this button, just know that each theme is going to have different theme settings provided by either HubSpot or the agency that has developed said theme. But in this case, we're gonna go edit theme settings and we're gonna see immediately we have this header, menu, and hero section that we can click the edit button on. And we see that we have this menu settings here that we can open up. And now we can choose main nav text style. We can choose the top level menu fonts. We can choose colors, underline, regular, bold, italic, all the things that you wanna do for main menu and even menu drop down items are right here in this theme settings. Again, once you style this to your heart's content, you're gonna be able to publish it to 36 assets. Well, it'll be different assets for you, but you'll be able to publish the changes 
and then you'll be able to go back to your actual page that you are editing. And to be honest with you, creating your navigation, adding it to your global content, and then designing the style, it's pretty stinking simple when it comes to HubSpot, to themes, and the system that you have at your fingertips. Hey, it's been my pleasure to serve you with this HubSpot educational tutorial on how to create HubSpot navigation. If you have any questions at all, make sure you reach out and let us know. We love questions and love giving answers even more. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like, share, or subscribe. And now it's time to go get after it, get your menu created, and while you're building the best website experience known to man with your HubSpot CMS, remember to be a happy, helpful, humble human, and we'll see you in the next video where we do some more happy HubSpotting.